the motivation of this work is our interest in learning highly dynamic motion. By highly dynamic motion, I mean uh, motion like motion you spend a lot of time in the air, like acrobats, or gymnastics, or even parkour. One of the most important factors that determine the damage of a fall is the landing angle. And the landing angle can be defined as the angle between the ground and the vectors of the center of mass measured from the contact point. So with a different initial orientation, initial speed at the beginning of the fall, this ideal, the va ideal value of this landing angle could be different. The biggest problem, biggest limitation is the brand. You don't have the computational power that can uh, compute that optimal sequence of poses while you are falling. So our hope is that um, someday the robot can learn this skill which cannot be achieved by humans but somehow cats can do naturally. And in this particular research work, uh, we want to show that the robot has this computational ability already. Um, as a proof of concept, we view this very simple three-link robot which can change its poses by changing these two joint angles. But we can't just drop this robot to the ground and let it land because the motors we have today are not fast enough to position this robot to the poses we desire. So instead we let this robot slide down on a near frictionless surface. You can imagine it's like a, a tilted air hockey table we build to emulate the, uh, the reduced gravity environment. And we, our experiment shows that indeed we could, uh, if the robots follow the optimal sequence of poses, we can indeed control the landing angle of this robot. So our grand vision is always to enhance the capability of robots to achieve things that our human beings can achieve today. Uh, for example, search and rescue would be a good application for this type of a robot. So before we can realize uh, our, our research in real-world robots, we want to first test it on the simulated world with the simulated human, uh, virtual humans. So here in this video, we demonstrate that um, if you have a good strategy when you fall, you will have a better chance to survive uh, comparing to the case where you just fall passively. Thank you.